Okay, so we're continuing to look at integrals and uh, we're going to come back. We're on our spreadsheet here and when we are on our spreadsheet, that's going to be numerical integration and we could also call that Riemann sums. So we're, we're going to sort of tie in what we learned in the previous thing about Riemann sums and uh, we're going to look at a few things. So I'm going to have, here I'm going to have, in this column I'm going to have a value of x and then in this column I'm going to have a value of f of x and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that the area is going to be um, is going to be f of x times dx and then the whole area is going to be the sum of the the small areas okay so over here I'm going to set my dx equal to 0 0.01 so there I'm setting I'm going to say my dx is 0 0.01. Okay, so now what's my first x going to be? My first x is going to be 0. My next x is going to be my previous x plus my dx. But since I always want it to be that g1, I'm going to lock out the g1 with dollar signs. So then you can sort of see what I'm doing with that is I'm basically just adding 0.01 to the cell above it. So 0, 0, 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03. Now I've got to come up with some function. Well the function that I want to come up with is cosine x. So all I got to do is I just got to say this equals the cosine of my x value. There's my x value over there. The cosine is 0 is 1 and then if I, sorry, if I copy that and paste it down. As x increases slowly, then cosine of x is going to drop sort of slowly. Now, when we're talking about the area under a curve, well, using my Riemann sums, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that the height of my rectangular box is going to be f of x, and the width of my rectangular box is going to be dx and I always want it to be that same dx so I'm going to lock it out with with dollar signs and so basically if I take 1 times 0 .0, 1 times 0 .01 I get 0 .01 if I take 0 .9995 times 0 .01 I get 0 0.009995 and then what I want to do is to get my Riemann sum I want to take well first off I want that to just equal that and then in this function I want my previous area plus my new change in area so I take my previous area plus my change in area and that gives me my new area. And so I paste that down. So there I've got my formulas and then what I want to do is I want to uh, make a chart. Hang on, let me cancel that out. What do I want to make a chart of? I want to make a chart of, I want to make a couple of different graphs here. So I'm going to make a chart and I want it to be XY scatter and I want it to be lines only and what I want to do is I want to uh, say that um, I want to take column C out. I don't, want, I don't care about column C and I want to call column B range for name I want to call that uh, cosine x <clears throat> oh I don't think I'm doing it right I want to do labels um, okay so then I want to do um, how do I get over to those legends 
I don't care. I'm not going to worry about the legends. Okay. So what I've got here... What I've got here is in column B, I've got y equals cosine x. And then in column D, I have the integral of, I've got the integral of cosine x. Okay, but now I'm only going from 0 to 0 0.08, so that's not all that exciting. So what I want to do is I want to copy these. And I want to scroll down to like, I don't know, like 1300, somewhere around in there. This is good right here. And I want to paste that. <clears throat> so now I've just sort of pasted my, I've, I've just sort of pasted the whole column all the way down through. And then what I want to do is I want to go to the series um, and data ranges. So then instead of uh, going from from A2 to B, uh, instead of going from A2 to that, I want to go um, I want to go to 12, 1270 and make that 1270. And that's what I want to look at. Okay, so now I've sort of graphed my whole data. And remember that my blue is my blue is just cosine x. So I just told the spreadsheet to graph blue is equal to cosine x. But then the orange is going to be the area under cosine x. So what I've told it to do is take, divide that up into tiny little boxes and find the area of each box and then add the area, find the area of each box and then add up all those areas of all those boxes and see what you get. So in other words, that's the procedure for taking the integral so the orange is the integral of cosine x. And you guys should probably already see where we're going with this, is that you get a sine curve. So the integral of cosine x is sine x. Now we also know that the derivative of sine x is cosine x. So once again, we're making the point that integrals and antiderivatives are the same because you ask what function, when I take the derivative of that function, gives me cosine x? Well, when I take the derivative of sine x, I get cosine x. So sine x is the antiderivative of cosine x, or sine x is the integral of cosine x. And then we're gonna come back and sort of modify this in the next video.